So hello everyone, my name is Zheng Li and I'm a PhD from Harvard University of Science and Technology. Right now I'm the Open Open Committer of the Open Open Community. Today my shared topic is the Open Open Heuristic Index Framework Architecture Analysis and Application Practice. So here comes for the agenda of my today's talk. First, I will introduce the basic ideas of OpenLogan and uh, the OpenLogan architecture. And then I will introduce the OpenLogan heuristic index framework. And after that, I will introduce how to use the heuristic index from OpenLogan and uh, how to create your own index technology with the interfaces provided by the OpenLogan heuristic index framework. First, I will introduce um, the basic ideas of the open logon. So if we refer to the big uh, data landscape, we could find that the big data is pretty complex. And this figure shows a typical big data um, system. As, for, as we can see, we have several data layers that the compo components and compose the overall big data system. First, we have the physical layer. We can use the ARM server and the uh, x86 server, and we have VMs, we have cloud. And after that, we can build our data storage layer that we can do the data storage, uh, such as we're using the common HDFS with different data formats, such as text, the ORC file, the parquet file, or the common data files. And we can also use distributed storage such as FS, HDFS, we can use the object to store, or we can use the file system. And above the data storage, we have the data management layer. Then we can use the data log to um, control or management the data relationship uh, among different data storage. And we also use the data security uh, to do the data management to provide the high level uh, data security layer. And above the data management layer, we have the computer engine layer. As we can see, the computer engine, uh, the computer engines in the big data area is com pretty complex. That is, we uh, use different engines uh, based on the different scenarios. Uh, as for the batch scenario, such as we do some data processing and uh, data generation, right now we uh, usually use the half or Spark engines. And if we talk about the stream um, dealing, we usually use the Flink engine to do the stream streaming communication. And for the graph engine, we can use the graph base above the edge base to do the graph analysis. And if we refer to the, such as log, log analysis, we will use the elastic search. And above all the computer engine layer, we, can, the, we have the layer of data enable. Then we do the data integration, the data development, the data governance, and the virtual data warehouse. And the user's applications will build on the data enable layer that we can uh, um, develop uh, uh, all kinds of applications, such as uh, data processing, the prediction of the sales, such as uh, us, all other things. Besides all the four data uh, um, components, we have uh, different data sources, such as we can the, we have the data from the RDBMS, we have the data from log, we have the data from IoT devices, and we have the data from the website. And all the data will be loaded into the data storage layer and uh, be stored into the data storage and the management by the management layer and the using by the computer engine. As for, we also have the management layers that will provide the 
several key features such as security, such as uh, uh, tenant, such as configuration, such as a perform improvement, and such as a total tariffs. However, as we can see, uh, we have different computer engines uh, based on different scenarios. So the overall <clears throat> big data architecture will be very complex and the users have to use different engines based on their application scenarios. So actually, OpenLogan, the key idea of OpenLogan is to do the fusion analysis, such as we want to build uh, all the computing um, scenarios above on the existing uh, data source data sources, and uh, all the computation, such as batch or the stream and the <coughs> a point query scenarios are all uh, do the load data or the entrance of the data in via the open organ. That is, open organ will be the entrance of the data lake. And if we um, want to do the batch or the stream or other um, data analysis, we can just use the open organ with the single entrance of the whole data lake scenario. And then that we can uh, simplify the overall architecture of the big, da uh, big data landscape. So here comes the open open architecture. At actually, open open is the um, typical MPP like architecture that we come uh, that come uh, consist of coordinator nodes and the worker nodes. User will send the their commands such as circle query to the coordinator and the coordinator will do the parser, analyzer, and do the query execution plan generation. And after that, it will get, uh, the coordinator will schedule the execution plan to the worker node. And the worker node will do the data processing based on the generated uh, physical plan. That is maybe load the data from the data source and do some aggregation, such as uh, join and uh, all other operators. After that, the worker will return the value to the coordinator, and the coordinator will return the final result to the user, and the user will get, will get the results of their circle queries. As we can see in the figure, actually OpenLogan has two uh, typical designs. One is the data source connector. Then we can use the data source connector to connect different data sources such as uh, MySQL, such as HAP, such as Elastic Search. And uh, we can use also use the data center connector to connect one open local cluster to another open local cluster. And uh, we can do the uh, query across the network domain. So uh, in general, the overload is the MPP uh, like architecture that with the multiple coordinators to avoid the single coordinator failure problem. And we use the column processing engine to fully occupy the uh, computation potential of the hardware. And we also use the in memory pipelines to do the data processing to maximize the to maximize the overall performance of the engine. And then I will introduce the open local heuristic index framework. <coughs> Referring to the index technology, we will uh, refer to, actually it's very common in the RDBMS. In RDBMS, um, a data Base index is a data structure that improves the speed of the data retrieval operations. A database table at the cost of additional writes and storage space to maintain the index data structure. As we can see the figure, actually, um, in common cases, the index engine is uh, coupled with the storage engine. And the storage engine 
uh, using the index engine to quickly find out the data and return to the execution engine. In general, the RDMMS is a closed system that the uh, storage engine and the computation engine are tightly decoupled. So the execution engine can fully execute the properties of the storage engine as well as the index technologies uh, to quickly find out the data they want. And we can see different RDMMS and the different uh, databases use their, their own indexing technologies. For example, the index technology of uh, MySQL and uh, PG are quite different. So different uh, technologies or the index technology, index technology can, could not be applied to the different, en different engines because the computer engine and the story engine are tightly, are tightly coupled. So if we see the challenges in the big data area, that is a common part that the storage, storage engine and the computer engine are <clears throat> usually decoupled with the limited bandwidth, limited network bandwidth for better scalability. Since the um, computer engine and the storage engine are decoupled, the storage storage and the computation can be expanded according to the uh, actual needs. So based on these ideas, the index technology faces great challenges since the data is not controlled by the computer engine. For example, if we use HDFS or have to maintain the data, the data is usually organized as the ORC data uh, file format, for example, or the parquet data format, and stored on the HDFS. And the index technology of the file format is controlled by the half of the HDFS. So if we, if the computer engine wants to uni, uh, index the file quickly, it is become uh, impossible because the file format could not apply or could not uh, provide the uh, inter index interfaces we want. So the question is how to design the index in the big data scenario to fully um, accelerate our query engine performance. So Open Logan proposed heuristic index framework that is the middle layer between the storage engine and the uh, execution engine. Here are several uh, properties of the open open heuristic index technology. The first is that it is agnostic to the under, underlying data source and it can be used by the any engine. Because all the design of the heuristic index layer is also decoupled, com, uh, decoupled with the storage engine and the computer, communication engine. And the second is that the existing data can be indexed without rewriting the existing data files. Because in big data scenario, the big data is uh, the data uh, amount is huge, and it is become impossible for us to reload the data or change the original data to another data format or to the, uh, to another data warehouse. So, if we can do the indexing without rewriting the existing data files, it could help to reduce the overall uh, time, the total time of the creating index time. And also we can create a new index types and all that are not supported by the underlying data sources. For example, in the have the ORC file format, for, for example, it only supports the index technology such as Bloom filter, so if we want to uh, create uh, uh, other uh, index types that are uh, very important to the query engine, so it, it becomes impossible and very, because, uh, very hard because the uh, uh, fair format is not supported in the index types. And the final one is that the index data does not occupy the data source storage spaces. We can store the index data in the 
close to the query engine and hence improve the overall performance. So the key ideas of Okonomi heuristic index is that we want to field all the data in the early stage and reduce the amount of data transmitted over the network and the amount of data involved in the query engine processing and hence to improve the overall query performance. And here comes the architecture of the Okonomi heuristic index architecture. If we refer to the architecture of the open open, we can see there uh, are several uh, components in the coordinator. When, when a user uh, sends the query to the uh, open open using the open open client, the parser and analyzer module will do something to uh, deal with the incoming circle sediment and do the such as metadata check and other, and other things. And after that, it will send the query to the planner and the planner node will generate the uh, initial execution plan for the incoming stage. And uh, then optimize the plan using the existing optimize, optimization rules to improve the overall performance. And after that, uh, we use the data scheduler module will schedule the overall work or uh, overall execution plan to the worker nodes and the worker will do the data processing based on the data stream API and load the data from the underlying data source and do the processing. And after once and once the data is processed by the worker, it will return the data to the coordinator. And the a coordinator will return the result to the user. So comes to the heuristic index technology, we add the middle layer between the data source and the uh, open organ cluster. That we open, uh, we provided two kind of uh, heuristic types that can uh, do the data scheduling or do the data filtering in two different stages. One is the task scheduling phase that we cut, we wanted to cut the split to reduce the number of tasks scheduled to a worker. And uh, we can also reduce the amount of data to be loaded to the computing memory when we read out the data from the data, from the data source. In general, we support multiple index stru structures such as sparse index, such as Bloom filter and the Minmax technology. And we also support some dense index technology such as the bitmap technology. First, I will introduce the Bloom filter index technology. Um, such as a Bloom filter, it is a data structure that we, it can determine whether a value is exceeded in the existing data. So we can use the Bloom filter to quickly determine whether a value exists in a set. Only the equal sign is supported. So we can determine whether each split, such as the worker loads the split into the coordinator and to see each, whether each split contains the value to search for and the result on the, those splits that may contain the value. As a result, most of the splits that does not contain the value will be filtered out early in the coordinator before data scheduling. And the worker won't to load the data from the data source and do the processing and the filtering out in the data and hence improve the overall performance and reduce the data amount loaded from the network. So here comes the example. If you want to query select a star from the test base where the column equals to a value, it, uh, the data of the underlying data source will cut it into several splits based on the data, based on the data, um, uh, based on the data itself. So if we create the index on the column J1 and the table, so we can, when we schedule the splits on the coordinator, we can 
based on the index values to see whether the data contains the where whether the split contains the value. So if the split does not contain the value we want, we can filter out the split early and won't spill it to the worker. So hints improve the overall performance. And the drawback is that we have to run the create index command to create the indexes in advance, and other, and this takes some time to finish. And here comes the B-tree index technology, such as a B-tree. It is a data data structure that we organize the data in a tree level, and the B-tree contains the data in a order. So if we query the B-tree, the indexing performance or indexing performance is much better than the <coughs> Bloom filter technology. For example, the B-tree contains the mapping table. If we want to choose the column values uh, greater than value, it uh, can be um, uh, searched by the tree level and uh, returns the value whether the value is contains the, by the split or not. So the query complexity is much better than the Bloom filter because uh, the Bloom filter uh, we use is a hash table and uh, it contains such as uh, ON complexity. And uh, the another advantage of the B-tree is that it supports uh, additional operators because it can support such as op operators such as greater than um, less than and other things, where well, the Bloom filter can only support the equal condition. As for the bitmap index, uh, the bitmap index is uh, a dense uh, index technology that it wants to fill out the rules that do not match the predicate by uh, prioritizing the bitmap technology for the predicate column. Uh, because in the column-based storage, which records the value of the column, dictionary, and the bitmap, it is uh, applicable to uh, operators, operations that use the dictionary to quickly query. For example, if we want to select star from the table where uh, such as column equals to a value, after the data is read out from the data source, we can use the bitmap to uh, fill out the data line by line. And we can just return to the lines that are actually contain the value and fill out the lines that, are, that does not contain the value and reduce the overall data amount that, uh, send, that, will, that would be sent to the query engine and uh, improve the processing performance. And the drawback is the bitmap index that is also needed to run the create index command to create index indexes in advance. And uh, unlike the B-tree and the Bloom filter index technology, it cannot um, filter out the data uh, before the data scheduling. That is, data is also loaded from the network. Yeah, but we can use the bitmap index to reduce the data amount send to the query engine. And the final one is the star tree index technology. Uh, actually, star tree is a tree data structure that is storing the pre-aggregated results with the time and the space trade-offs. As we can see the left figure, the star tree actually uh, stores the pre-aggregated values in the tree node. And if we um, Queries uh, of if the user wants to query to do the aggregations on the several columns with a different aggregation type, we can use the pre aggregation technology uh, to reduce the latency. <coughs> because uh, because the star tree index we have, um, it is kind of like the pre aggregation technology, and we have stored the pre-aggregated values in the tree node. So if the user wanted to query the data to see the aggregation values, we can just refer to the star tree index 
to find out the final aggregation value rather than load the data from the underlying data source and do the aggregation on the engine. So we can uh, improve the overall query um, performance, especially the high basic dimensions queries. Okay, finally, I will introduce how to use the heuristic index technology and uh, how to create new, new index based on the uh, heuristic index framework. If we want to use the bitmap, bloom filter, and btree and the min or max index technologies, we could use the command of the create index. For example, <clears throat> we provide the command of the create index, create index with the index name. The using you can refer to the uh, heuristic index types such as bitmap, bloom filter, btree, min or max on the special specific table and specific column. We suppose the where predicate that we can use the where predicate to create in index on the select partitions. And also we support the where clause that the where can be used to specify the index properties or index level. For example, for the Bloom filter index technology, we can use bloom field bloom dot fpp to indicate the error rate of the bloom filter, and then we can um, support and uh, uh, support other uh, heuristic index technologies. You can refer to the individual index document to support properties on our open open website. Unlike the Bloom filter and the B-tree and the min max heuristics um, type, the star tree index pro provides an individual command to create the star tree index. In general, the star tree index is cutting down into three stages. The one is creating a star, star tree cube. We provide a command use the create cube with the cube na uh, name on the table, and we, we can use the with clause to specify the aggregation type, such as count star, count star count with distinct, with average, with max, and we can specify the group columns, such as a nation, uh, nation key, and we also can specify the starting index storage file format, such as ORC file, and we also can specify the partition uh, partition key by of the storing starting index to improve the loading performance. Next, we want to add data to the cube. We can uh, uh, execute the command insert into the cube command. For example, we can insert to the cube uh, insert into the cube the national cube where we can point the. For example, the column national key is greater than five. After we add the data to the cube, we can use the new cube. We can query the original table using the aggregations that were included in the cube. For example, we have created the count star, um, count star star tree index using the table um, nation with the column nation with the column nation key greater than five. If the user send a query that is select count star from the nation where national key is greater than five group by the nation key, the uh, original table will be replaced by the uh, starting index. That is, we won't uh, do data load on the table national key, but we just uh, load the data from the star tree index and then return to the count star value, the aggregations values to the uh, user by using the pre-aggregation star tree index. So finally, there is uh, some several commands that we can add the new text implementations. Actually, OpenLogan heuristic index provides simple interfaces to create user-defined index tab. So we cut the a user-defined index type to two components. 
when we have to implement the indexing indexing method and the other we have to implement the adding and the processing values and then for the indexing methods we have to implement two methods one is the matches and the other is the lookup for the matches uh, interface it returns the true or false based on the expressions input by the user or input by the index caller. For example, if we create an index min max with the value greater, greater than value, the user uh, input expression is the, the value greater than a specific value. We can use the uh, expression to return to the uh, index caller that uh, if the uh, if the index can uh, can can contain the value or not, so we can use the matches method to uh, quickly pass the index data. And for the other, the lookup is just returns the integrator of the index technologies, and the lookup interface is not necessary. And for the adding and the processing values, we provide the interfaces add values and the deserialize and the serialize. We can serialize the value based on the input applications. So here comes the conclusion. So with the decoupled architecture, with storage and computer engine that separated, offering fast and efficient index cap uh, capability is a huge uh, is a huge challenge. In order to solve this. Problems, we created a third independent index engine, allowing us to retain the flexibility of the original design while retaining the benefits of index engine. So index engine comes with a pro wide set of index module, but you can bring your own and, and extend it to specify it to meet your needs easily. So that's, I, I think that's all for my theory. Uh, I think uh, you can refer to our open logo website to see more details about the heuristic index details. Thank you.